just about knowledge itself, just, you know, a couple of a hadith before we go on. Uh, uh, one hadith, beautiful. مَنْ سَلَكَ تَرِيقًا يَلْتَمِسُ بِهِ عِلْمٌ سَهَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ تَرِيقًا إِلَى الْجَنَّةِ SubhanAllah. He says, uh, whoever takes up a path in which he's trying to acquire knowledge, Allah will facilitate for him a road to Jannah. So he's taking a road to knowledge and Allah is making for him easy the road to Jannah. May Allah make us from those people. Secondly, of course this hadith comes over and over again, but now you understand the spirit of it. خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَهُ The best of you are the ones who learn Qur'an and teach it. Learn Qur'an and teach it. Learning the Qur'an is a sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ. He's the first one who learned Qur'an. So when you're learning Qur'an, you are doing what the Messenger himself did wasallam. Teaching the Qur'an is not only a sunnah of the Prophet, it is the sunnah of Allah Himself. عَلَّمَ Quran. Allah, He taught the Qur'an, right? So imagine the power of learning and then also teaching the Qur'an. And then you will appreciate the beauty of these words, خَيْرُكُمْ مَنْ تَعَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ وَعَلَّمَ What more noble task can there be? That you're mimicking the activity, not just of the Messenger, but an act, an act of mercy given by Allah Himself. الرَّحْمَنُ عَلَّمَ الْقُرْآنَ He is the one who taught, the exceedingly merciful, is the one who taught the Qur'an.